So, so following on from uh, our last video, where we had a bit of a problem with technology. The SD card that I'd bought maybe 10 years ago failed. Um, it, it, didn't, it didn't just fail and stop working in the camera. It seemed like it was working fine. But then when I transferred those files across to the edit on my laptop, the edit worked all right. And I could see, I can watch <laughs> most of the video on the laptop, but it then won't export. There's frame damage or something. Anyway, it wouldn't do it. So then the card started to play up even more. It said it needed formatting. I tried to format it, wouldn't format. So I ended up ordering a new card, a SanDisk. I should have bought SanDisk in the first place 10 years ago because these are so, so reliable. Um, I bought a Lexar because uh, it was sold by the Panasonic camera dealer. Um, I should have waited and bought the SanDisk. These are superb. I bought a 64 gigabyte. Um, 170 megabits per second transfer speed uh 19 pounds 96 on amazon link in the description below if you want to buy one of these they're super super um come in a little packet like this they're they're tiny and when you think about it they come in such a big packet and then in a plastic container and that that is it there that bit <laughs> That bit there that you see, so this whole big packet, but you get a uh, a free two year subscription that bit for um, Rescue Pro, which might allow me to rescue the other card. I don't know. I'm gonna have a go, see what see what happens. Um, I might not bother, but they I, I I hate cards that have let you down once because they're probably gonna let you down again. Anyway, let's get on and get filming with this because currently this bit of footage is on the iPhone. So here we are, I've got the card. This is the camera it goes in. Um, if I can, I can't even see how to open the, oh, here we are. So open the case, little case opens like that. And to be honest, I mean, they come in these cases, but I don't know why. They all have this little lock tab on the side here. When, it, when it's like that, that means you can't record onto it, you can't erase it. So push forward. And what I found with these uh, on occasion is because the lock tab goes backwards and you push the card in forwards, you can sometimes catch the lock tab on on the edge of the camera so that it locks it but i'm always aware of that now so there we are that's that in let's just turn it on uh there we are turn it on and i normally format the card but i won't format it just yet let's just take a video Yeah, so that, that just records video straight away of me recording video. Does it replay on the camera? Yes, it does. Look at that. Yeah, that's all good. What have you been doing, man? Well, I put a... I put a um, a fruit cake. It's a no egg fruit cake mixture. My, it's one of my mum's recipes. She wrote it out. And um, any nuts in it? No, oh. it's not fruit and nut cake. So yeah. it's not as nutty as a no. fruit cake. Because <laughs> my dad would, <laughs> went through a phase when he thought eggs were high in cholesterol, and he did like fruit cake. So I she found this know. recipe for it. Yeah. But unfortunately, this oven is dodgy, dodgy. I'm blaming the <laughs> oven. I should have probably put it on a lower shelf anyway. Um, and it might have been all right, but anyway, it is burnt. It's burnt. 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 This is this is it. Oh, you want to see it? I'll show you. Well, that. that 
when he's taken it out of the oven yeah, just... and turned it up, oh. turned it upside down on there. Oh, that, yeah. I don't know if I can oh, yeah. now. Yeah, help me. Just turn it oh, out and then oh. you can see. Yeah. Oh, there you go. Yeah. So burnt cake. It's only burnt on the top, though. Yeah. Probably, probably oh. underneath. Mm. It seems so, to be cooked inside, so I'm just gonna turn it back over because I bet because the oven, right, is so dodgy yeah. that that will be burnt on the top <laughs> and raw right. underneath. Yeah, I, I think right it's cooked actually. Oh, oh, it does look cooked. Let's, look. Let's peel that off. Yeah, I always, I always use baking paper. Oh, that, look at that. That looks all right, doesn't it? You see, if you if you didn't know that was burnt, that would mm. look lovely, mm. wouldn't it? That yeah. looks really nice. Yes, it does look okay. It's at this point I would usually grab a bit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you do, yes. Am I allowed? <laughs> you want to take a little bit with something? I'm just going to get a spoon. Mm, that's it, go like that. Oh, look. It's quite, yeah, it's quite squidgy, right. eh? Oh, look at that. Oh. Yeah, it looks all right, doesn't it, inside? <laughs> that. <sighs> steaming a hot cake. There's my cake, and here's me eating it. Oh, ow. <laughs> <Hot. laughs> it's very, very, uh, yeah. It's just out of a hot oven. <laughs> Well, that's an absolute triumph, that is. Is it? Good. Mm. Good. Not blooming gorgeous. So that's, mm. that's the no egg fruit cake. No eggs, fruit cake. Mm. The only thing that's missing... Is eggs. <laughs> cup, the, no, uh, no, not eggs at all. Nuts. A cup of tea. Oh, cup of tea. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Last week we started this 1,000-piece puzzle... It's by White Mountain, which is an American company. And I bought this, I think, for about £2.99 in a charity shop when we first came back to the UK. So that would be in Lewis, in Sussex. And we have so loved doing this puzzle that we've um, glued it together. And this is the result. So this is it. <laughs> what we did was, once we'd done it, mm. we got it very carefully by the edges and picked yeah. it up, and then we flipped it over. Yeah. I'll show. Yeah. Didn't we? we? Yeah. Yeah. We flipped it over like that. Look, look, yeah. And then we laid it flat. Mm. I don't. Some bits of it came came off, mm. didn't they? When yeah. we were turning it over because it wasn't glued. And then we used this. Yeah. Gorilla glue, wood glue. And do you um, know, I have um, the proper, I, I bought a long time ago, the proper jigsaw glue, but it's not very good. This is much better to use and it doesn't come through or anything. So if you're thinking of doing your puzzles. So what we did is together, just yeah. um, squirted some of that on mm. and then used a, a paintbrush mm. to sort of brush it over. And you'll see, mm. you know, it's it's quite... It's, it works quite yeah, well. I so love old movie posters and it's made us want to watch them. And we were thinking, how many of these have we actually watched? Not not that many. So, no. no. We did ask people to put in. A few people did. Yeah. Put in some of their classic movies. White Christmas is yeah. there. What else? Oh, um, Pillow Talk. Um, there's a couple of war ones, I think, like... Um, Oh, now I can't find Arch them. of Triumph. Yeah, Arch of Triumph. <laughs> Arch of yes. Triumph. Betty Davis in Dark Victory. And also in, I think, oh no, that's this one, The Sheik, there. That's a, so that obviously is 1940s, and I think that's about the earliest ones we've got on here of the, um, that might be quite an old one. I've never he heard of Chester Morris. No, Chester Morris in Corsair. Yes. I've never heard of it. Look at the boat there. So it looks. Yes. So it might be a navy film. I don't know. Mm. Looks like a bit never of a love story, doesn't it? Yeah. Most of them, I think, are love stories. Yeah. Letters from an unknown woman. Mm. There. Mm. But that's. So we're happy. We so enjoyed doing that. You can actually, I've seen them on 
line because I looked at um, bits and pieces puzzles and I looked on um, eBay and I saw one but they wanted an was it 19 pounds plus 195 postage and there was only one on there so um, it was a lucky find yeah, I miss going in charity shops well it seems like it's a week of sickness this week um, no <laughs> it's not the dreaded virus but uh, Wendy's had really bad tooth um, so she's had to we had to book in to the local dentist here which is really good um, and uh, we got an emergency appointment the next day and uh, unfortunately the tooth was too far gone so she had a bit of an ext well not a bit of an extraction she had an extraction um, so there we are then uh, yesterday yesterday pretty much for the whole day after I'd had uh, my breakfast I felt really really ill really rough so painful um, sneezing um really bad stomach pains um so i just relaxed for the whole day um took painkillers before i went to bed so um yesterday was a bit of a washout i wanted to do some more filming um but today you'll notice i'm in the i'm in the motorhome and here comes wendy with pippin because over the last few days She's been, well, Pippin has been really quiet, um, you know, and and shivering a bit, and you know she sh she shivers for two reasons. So she shivers when she's cold, and she shivers when she's in pain. Um, she never complains about anything. So we're off to the vet today, aren't we? Yes, yes, we are. We yep. found a nice yep. vet in Daventry, mm. so that's where we go. So Pips has been to the vet and she's got some gland swollen up at the back here on both sides the previous vet said that's quite normal but she's probably suffering from it has been given some antibiotics hasn't she yes let me just check. haven't you pips they've been given antibiotics oh. there they are in here yeah. um sign i can't read what they are sign your locks yeah oh. I suppose that's what they are. Yeah. So. Oh yes. It's one and a half it on tablets. There. One and a half tablets, twice a day. So yeah. for ten days. So that's what you're. That's what you're in for, isn't it, Pippin? Pippin. You having tablets? <laughs> Have you? Have you got tablets? Mm. She's that's up in sympathy with me, I think. Yeah. <laughs> Because I'm recovering fine after my tooth yeah. out. It'd never be put off going to the dentist in these times because it's, in fact, you, you, it's, you're not safer than, yeah, yeah. safer than normal and you're seen quicker. You know what I mean? You're not waiting for a lot. You're not left waiting for a long time. So before we went out, we lit the, uh, lit the fire so it could be nice and cosy when we get back. And guess what? It is, you can feel the warmth yeah. from there. Here we go back in. Ah. And there we are. There's the fire glowing down. You can just see it there. Hmm. Go on then. Whee! Good girl. There we are. So she sit by the fire. She looks. She mm. sits on the stool. You're I'm gonna... keeping also a note of when we use coal and what the electricity is. So we're plugged into the power supply, and I'll keep a note of it here. So I say we bought a new uh, can of gas bottle. You might not be able to see that because of the shine on it. Uh, so I bought a new can of gas bottle on the 4th and uh, electricity on the 16th. We'd only been here a couple of weeks then, it was £8.55. It's 19 pence a unit. And then on the 12th of January, 
so that's the 16th of the 12th, we spent £78 on electricity, which is about normal, I suppose. Um, and that is mainly because of uh, that plug there, which is the immersion heater for the hot water. So we like to keep hot water going. And uh, coal, I make a note of when we open a new bag. I thought we'd be using a lot of coal, not a lot of coal, I didn't know. So we opened a brand new bag on the 1st, and then we opened another bag on the 7th. And uh, we opened another bag, which I've got to write up yesterday, which was the 12th. So we've got to, we've got to do the, just got to, so averagely, one bag of coal is lasting us uh, six days. So six days for a bag of coal, that's uh, £11.50. So it's about 45 quid a month for that. There's about 20, 21, 22 pounds for the electric. And uh, I'm not sure what the gas is gonna be because we had the gas leak. Um, I don't know if I've mentioned that, this, this pipe, the ends on this were rubbish they were all sort of loose um these gas pipes are supposed to be replaced every five years and this one is marked up you probably won't be able to see it there second quarter of 1999 so that's the original gas pipe for the boat when it was built shocking really um especially as it's past the boat safety certificate and it passed the boat uh, survey before we bought it. Still, I had some, I had some pipes, so I put that on.